So this is a bit of a Franken plane. It's the wing from the Smeg head, the tail from the uh, Ultimate 600, and a 3D printed fuselage pod with a, an arrow shaft for the boom. Just a bit of an experiment learning how to uh, design and print a reasonable fuselage pod. What do we have? 28, 26, 1400 kV and a 1300 3S battery. Uh, nicely balanced with that. Weighing about 550, 600 grams, something like that. But uh, anyway, let's see how it goes. Lovely. Bit of trimming, backing off to below half throttle. That's nice. Let's get the trim right. It's a nice little plane. Going well now. Apart from flying into the sun. So this is a nice, gentle little flyer. Tail boom's a bit flexy. I wish I bought my camera so I could stick it on and show you how flexy the tail is. But it's looking like it's going okay. kind of fast. Just banking yanking so far but the rudder is quite effective. That's radical rudder. Could tone that down quite a lot as usual. Comes a bit of wind. Fairly low drag, I would say, with the nice little fuselage. It's a pretty low frontal area. 170 millimeter cord, just a Clark Y. Wingspan is a bit less than 110 centimeters, 105 uh, Nice, gentle, cruisy, cruisy uh, plane that would be a reasonable slope saw too, I would imagine. There's the glide. Quite a <laughs> that is a good glide. So let's have a look at how wiggly the tail is in flight. wiggling it around a lot. So we'll do uh, elevator up and down, see how that is flexing and now some rudder. I reckon that'll flex a bit. But it may not be a problem if we just cruise around nice and slowly on three or four amps is what it draws. Going okay, inverted. Slowly losing altitude, roll out.
What I want to try is a forward loop. But I'll get up a bit higher for that. In case we don't complete the loop. Here we go. Oh yeah, no worries. So the pods proved to be quite successful I think. It's 1.5 millimeter thickness. I did have a bit of problems printing it. Uh, a couple of times it broke away from the printing bed, ended up with a bird's nest because uh, it's printed up vertically, prints up this way like that. And initially once I saw the uh, ZOHD drift I thought I like the look of that plane so I, th I thought I might try and design something 3D printed. So the idea is that I'm going to try a, a little pusher motor setup on this and we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching.